And uh, here we are with the uh, Lycoming R680 uh, adaptation motor that I built using um, using the Williams Brothers. Uh, there it is. Hang on. All right. So we used uh, the Wasp kit from Williams Brothers and just modified it to make a Lycoming R680. The Wasp is a Pratt & Whitney product um, Lycoming built uh, engines in this configuration for a lot of the early aircraft in the mid 30s. Stearman uh, was one of those. In fact the, um, the famous Stearman, the uh, PT uh, 13, 17, 18, and so on, the, what everybody recognizes as a, quote, Stearman. Uh, the PT 13 version of that had the Lycoming uh, R680 mounted to the nose. Uh, this is an earlier Stearman. Uh, this is the one uh, production run basically before PT 13. This is the YPT 9 that was uh, marketed to the Army Air Corps but not purchased. They built a couple of them, uh, did Boeing, and I'm sorry, did Stearman, Lloyd Stearman Company. Uh, but the Army didn't take, uh, they didn't take this one. So the Cloud Boy went into relative obscurity even though it's a beautiful biplane. Um, but they uh, continued making their uh, Model 6s, which is basically what the YPT-9 is. It's a, the Model 6 is their civilian version, and the YPT-9 was their military version. So that's what I was going for with the model, was the YPT-9 and uh, with the Lycoming power plant up and run. This is my, my rendition of that um, as it sits. So, what comes next? Well, I still have to fabricate the windscreens and, of course, looking at the obvious, we need a propeller for our motor. So, in the next couple of videos, I'll show you um, basically how I do the windscreens and, and also I'll, I'll have a pretty, either a, one long video or a couple of videos on, uh, on manufacturing or fabricating a propeller for a static scale model like uh, like this is a, what they what they call a display model or static model that just means it doesn't fly it's uh, it's meant to be just looked at set on a shelf or hang from a ceiling or something like that where and and the reason I do that is you know I built flying planes before and and they're great you know but I like spending a lot of time on this on this end on building and when when you do that and there are some very good builders who build to fly who go for scale realism and, and then and then make them flyable it's great uh, the problem for me is when they only survive you know one or two flights before they completely are, are, are rendered um, to pieces um, you know I've seen people who spend more than a year uh, constructing and detailing an airplane they take it out find a professional flyer uh, RC pilot to fly it for them to do the maiden flight um, and the aircraft does not survive and you know you can shrug your shoulders once maybe or twice and say you know well uh, but for me that's just it's just too much money to throw away I, I, I can't do that you know, I won't I just I just won't do it um, if I want to go fly something, I'll buy something foam, uh, one of those, you know, ready to fly deals. You just bind and fly, uh, you know, something out of a box that you just spend 20 minutes screwing together. Um, that that makes sense to me. But but building something like this, um, you know, for anything other than just a static display, just seems you know, like a waste of time and money. Resources better used um, elsewhere. That's just my opinion. Hello. Uh, but hey, hey, so that's that's our motor. It turned out okay, I think. It looks it looks like a Lycoming. It looks pretty good, to my eye anyway. And that's right now the one that matters. Um, so I'll be building a propeller for this, fabricating a prop. I'll be recording, hopefully recording that process. 
the windscreen is a pretty short, uh, pretty easy explanation of how to do that. Um, eventually we'll get to a kit that has a canopy with multiple panes of glass, something like the, uh, uh, like the P40 here. And the process for masking and painting that is, is different, obviously, than it is for a simple windscreen. Um, but you get the idea that, uh, you know, there's, there's different, uh, different disciplines at work here. So anyway, uh, there's the motor. I think it looks proper. I hope, I hope you think so too. All right. Talk to you later.